Hello there and welcome to a new issue of the Indicator Spotlight. This is where we feature indicators from our Indicator 8 library. Short video, about 5 to 10 minutes, with a brief explanation of the main indicator concept here, the most important functions and how you can use it in a trading setup, along of course with a free download to the indicator featured. And if you enjoy these spotlights and want to see more of them, make sure to subscribe to this channel, give us a thumbs up or leave me a comment. Let us know that you're out there and that you want to see more of these spotlights coming up. All right, so in this uh, episode, we're looking at the trigger lines, which is a trend filter comprised of a fast versus slow line comparison. The FAST is a LINREG uh, indicator, which is uh, available from the standard NinaTrader version. The signal, signal line is then calculated by applying a exponential moving average EMA of the linear regression line. And therefore you can create an identical plot by simply applying the NinaTrader default LINREG to a 80 bar lookback period for the fast line. And the same LINREG is uh, then used as uh, input for a 20 bar exponential moving average to create the signal line, which will be the slow line. Our indicator library version comes with the additional features color plots, paint bars, as well as data series for use in strategy scripts and other third-party applications, such as Bloodhound and Blackbird from Shark Indicators. A basic uh, application of uh, the trigger lines indicator is uh, just to follow the crosses that you see here. So if the fast uh, trigger crosses the slow uh, to the upside, uh, we have the beginning of a uh, uptrend. And of course, when the fast is crossing below the uh, trigger line to the downside, it will mark the beginning of a downtrend. And as you see here, the paint bars will highlight when the cross actually occurred. And uh, as most of you know, these moving average systems do not really work in a live trading environment. At best, uh, they will keep your broker very happy, paying lots of commission fees, uh, going back and forth and getting caught in uh, a lot of noise signals and uh, therefore relying on crosses alone is not recommended for a uh, trading setup or a system or approach. There's a significant delay versus uh, the price action, some of which you see here. And therefore, uh, this uh, trigger lines indicator from the library, you also have a second uh, trend definition that you can uh, look at comparing the price movement versus the moving averages themselves. So with that definition, the uh, thrust trend definition, the two trigger lines are considered as a band and the trend is positive when the price bars close above the band and negative when they close below. With that approach, uh, you can uh, spot possible trend changes uh, in an earlier stage. There is also a couple of additional conditions that apply in order to validate these types of trend changes. So for new uptrends, uh, we see here we need a, uh, a close above the band and the median of the bar also has to be above the band. So more than half of the candle body above the band. And um, the close of the bar should also be above the high of the previous bar. And you should also see a range expansion. So the candle body has to be larger than prior one or at a minimum the same size. So trend changes will be invalidated if there is a uh, range contraction. So the same then applies for a downtrend. You want to have the close below the band and then the prior bar here, probably the median that uh, took that out or the range expansion. This is a very small bar. And again, uh, you want to have a close 
below the low of the prior bar, which also invalidated this prior prior bar. So those are the conditions uh, when you're using the thrust uh, definition uh, for the trigger line trend. So to review which uh, trigger lines uh, trend definition works best for your setup, cross versus thrust, you can combine with a tool for entry timing. Um, this chart, we've added the squeeze indicator, which we featured in a previous spotlight. Uh, that is a uh, frequently discussed setup that uh, will occur in situations of consolidation or low volatility. Uh, looking to determine scenarios where the market is building up momentum for the next major move higher or lower. And so by combining with the trigger line bias, you can test uh, which setting works the best. Uh, we'll have a look at how to do that uh, in a tutorial using Bloodhound from Shark indicators as a follow-up to this spotlight. And you can register for that in the form below on our blog post here. Just keep in mind that we will uh, send out that follow-up to library members as you will be required to use other indicators to follow along on the tutorial. So it really only makes sense for those who already have the indicator membership. All right, so with that, uh, we'll wrap uh, up the indicator spotlight highlighting here where to pick up your free download for the trigger lines. That would be the moving averages category, along with other tools that can help you identify direction and strength of a trend. These tools are typically used to determine trend bias for your entries, spot consolidations, and better manage your profits. Members also have um, access to a number of uh, other moving averages. We see the triple weighted moving average here next to the trigger lines. Uh, there is also uh, the exponential hull moving average, Fibonacci bands, multi-rainbow filter, and the range weighted moving average, just to name a few of the other entries in this uh, category. In total, there are about 145 indicators open source, all available for a one-time payment of $150. That's for all of them and not per indicator. And it's a one-time flat fee, not a monthly fee. All right, so with that, I'm going to wrap up this uh, Spotlight episode on the Trigger Lines indicator. Appreciate uh, you taking the time and tuning in. Again, if you like these uh, indicator spotlights, and you want to see more of them, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up or leave me a comment. All right, thanks again for tuning in and uh, have a great rest of the week. And I look forward to hearing from you sometime soon. Take care now and bye-bye.